hello and good day. Salutations, my little friends. Oh, I didn't put lipstick on my face. Oh, shoot. Lipsticks on the face. You know what I did not do, though? I hope everybody's having a darn good day. I am having a fantastic day. There will be music momentarily, I swear. Um, but I'm just kind of getting settled in. It might take me a moment to get to you. How are things? Uh, ooh. Also, studio mode. So, I want to make sure that we are going to be streaming the game. Because I'm streaming a different game. See, these are things I always want to do. Fly, my squiddy bitties. Fly, fly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Spooky Tea Witch, for them 42 bitties. Ooh, I just got a med check. Dang it. Retro, you got me. There we go. Okay, so now the game will be ready when we are ready to uh, go over, which we will do now. <laughs> so I am just going to kind of let this play. I hate right now only having one screen. This game does not like being shared with other things. So if it's not front and center, it gets angry. Can I make you a tiny bit smaller, though? No. That's a terrible sound that I don't like. Yeah, that's better for me right now. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So I figure we, um, you know, we'll kind of sit here, absorb the, the mood. Ah, yeah, I don't know if I've ever played this one. I've played like 90% of the detective games. Yeah, I, uh, I really... I've had so many of these in my, uh, either on my wish list or, uh, in my, my games list of things that I've picked up either through gifts. Thank you all very much. My brother, uh, randomly sent me like half of my wish list, uh, like six months ago. Um, but like, I, you know, I was caught up on phasmophobia, you know, uh, and before that, it, well, I, what, what did I do? I went from. We'll say Stardew Valley to Animal Crossing to Phasmophobia to now, uh, I guess, is a, is a timeline. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I was worried for a really long time playing these because I was afraid I wouldn't be smart enough. But uh, I do worry still, but I feel like... I feel like I gotta just do stuff, and if I can't finish for whatever reason, then we'll adjust that then, I guess. You've got us if you need- thank you, thank you. I- it's so interesting, right? You know, when you wait- when you grow up with neurodivergence, uh, especially if it's undiagnosed, in that you realize, you know, you're really good at puzzles. At least this was my experience. I'm really good at puzzles. But I am garbage at some puzzles. There's 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 types of puzzles that I just don't understand. I don't like being timed. I hate that. I re You put a timer, I'm boned. Uh 100%. I just I don't know why I see that I see the time and I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god." I, all I can hear in my brain is click click click. I can't, I, that literally, it's on a megaphone. What is today? Today is Tuesday? Yes. I have already taken my meds today. Bam. Thank you for the coffee check. God, mmm. We've been mastering the fine art of cold brew. I don't know what it is about cold brew, especially if you've made it and it's in your own fridge. It's like the Valhalla of coffee. So hi friends. So I'm excited. I'm super nervous, but I'm excited. Sherlock Holmes, the hound, sh fudge. Sherlock Holmes and the hound of the Baskervilles.
uh, next year. There's a lot of question marks. So, uh, I know that TwitchCon is happening next year. Maybe. They, they seem optimistic. They've released dates. Um, but I, uh, oof. I don't know if next year is going to be the year for, like, recreational travel or if it's all going to be moving travel, but we'll see. Speaking of my health, so, funny story, since last we chatted yesterday, my uh, appointment to see the vascular surgeon has changed two more times. So now uh, I am actually being seen this Thursday. So the day after tomorrow. Yes, the day after tomorrow. So that's great. Yes, it, it is. It's very nerve wracking, but it's very exciting. Li <laughs> this is the issue. The issue that I had was there's one guy. Sorry. So I, I had to go to a specific practice that deals with veins. Sorry, not going to go into graphic detail or whatever. If, if you're new to the channel, I have pelvic congestion syndrome. You can look it up anyway. So apparently that is rare enough that there's only one guy at this practice that treats that. So he only works on Thursdays. <laughs> so, uh, you know, scheduling around, that was a little fun. You know, it was a grand adventure. But, uh, thank God for last minute cancellations. Am I right? I'm super excited. Welcome to October. Look, I have decor. Isn't it cute? I haven't put it up yet, but, uh, you know, I will. I wonder if my light can hold this up. Hold on. Don't take it down with you, please, for the love of God. Don't take it down, please, God. No. Oh, my God, please don't wreck my life, please. Oh, God, don't wreck my life. Cool did it sorry so automod withheld raven queen and it says it held a message for a region reason called misogyny uh and it highlighted put couldn't put put or put uh there was nothing wrong with with that um, but I, I, I'm, I am posting this, uh, because what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> All right, here we go. I, uh, am actively testing a perfume that I received in exchange for my review and it's probably one of the fanciest things I have ever been sent and I love this perfume and I will never be able to buy this perfume on my own so I get it now I get it I get it like I had already been using like Black Phoenix Alchemy Labs oils and stuff and those are very like specific and and whatnot but I had never spent more than $15 on any kind of perfume in my life because you know usually i would just go at like the bath and body works sales or whatever but like i didn't i i have found a perfume that is perfect for me and it is very expensive <sighs> all right friends i'm ready for this let's go all right so please choose your difficulty all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i am going to go on easy okay here we go we're going in Oh, blood. Poppy! How's the audio? 165 years later. Name that apartment. It seems that we have a visitor, Holmes. Indeed. Come in. Hello, Sir Henry Baskerville. Did you have a good trip? But how do you know who I am? I had not announced my visit. By looking at your dress, it is totally unsuited to our wet English weather. This allowed me to deduce that you came here in a hurry and carrying the bare minimum in your luggage. 
Then there is a blue ink stain on your thumb, the same blue ink used by the passenger service at Waterloo Station to print their tickets. Your ticket has stained your thumb because of the rain. Also, my attention was attracted to your cufflinks with the initials HB, but still I had not yet made the connection with the famous Baskerville family. It is by remembering a Times article that I deduced your identity. It was telling of the odd death of Charles Baskerville and the likely return of his nephew and only heir, Henry. Brilliant. Your reputation is well-deserved, Mr. Holmes. But let me explain the purpose of my visit. I am... You do not believe in legends, and you would like to clear the circumstances of your uncle's death. You need a factual, logical, and rational explanation of what some call the curse of the Baskervilles. And who else, in all modesty, but Sherlock Holmes and his faithful friend Dr. Watson would be able to solve such a mystery? Watson, my friend, pack your bags. We're leaving for Baskerville Hall. At once! Tell us about the curse of the Baskervilles, Henry. Its origin dates back to my ancestor, Hugo Baskerville. It is said he was a vile person who earned the wrath of the devil. After his death, all our ancestors seemed to come to bad ends at Baskerville Hall. At the scene of each death, there were always dog or wolf tracks, but gigantic. Thus, over the centuries, a legend was built, that of a creature from hell, the Hound of the Baskervilles. My uncle was sure that it was a reality. He was convinced that the beast would take him sooner or later, as it took all those our lineage. With his last letter, he sent me this medallion. According to Charles, it was needed to break the curse of the Baskervilles, but he did not know how to use it. Do you believe in this legend, Mr. Holmes? We'll have to exhaust all other hypotheses before falling back on that one. Okay, well, my first thought is that the necklace looks like something you put into a gun. Holmes, doctor, welcome to Baskerville Hall. The Ooh. servants are not here to welcome us, I fear. They were severely affected by the death of my uncle and have since retired. All right, so uh, before I click through, just want to let everybody know I do click on everything. And I look at everything. But I'm going to try my my best to be the best. I named my Hound Doom in Pokemon Go Baskerville because it's amazing. Nice. Also, before... The family portrait. Hey! I assume. But why such expressions on their faces? I, I was going to take a minute. Uh, also, how is the sound just now? How's the music? How's the audio? How am I in conjunction? Like... How am I in relation to? I just want to make sure everything sounds and looks groovy. Scary musics. These pictures have not always been so disturbing. According to my uncle, the changes in the paintings occurred after the violent death of the portrayed Baskerville. It appears to be one of the effects of the curse. Thank you, Raven Queen. Have you noticed? The family coats of arms under the pictures are missing. Oh, no. I did notice. Indeed. It is an interesting point to begin our investigation. Where can these coats of arms be? And why did they disappear? I don't know. Let's try to find them. I cannot stay here any longer. The sight of those ghastly faces is unbearable. I bet, yeah. Welcome to the ba to Baskerville Hall. Do you need an interactive tutorial through the game? Sure. Uh, if you are stuck, press the hint button at the center of the medallion. Cool. I'm not stuck, but I'm glad that I do have a, a hint button. All right. So. Ooh. Where did it go? Oh, okay, cool. Uh. I mean, obviously, we're picking everything. Oh, neato, neato. Cool, cool. Dark corner. Okay, so we it looks like we can go to the corner, which, you know, would be fun. I see, I see. Don't get all bent out of shape. This door is shut with planks. If we want to go in, we will need to remove the boards. Which I'm assuming means... We're going to need uh, something that will take away the boards, you know, because you can't just, like, pull stuff. Charles Baskerville portrait. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't look so good. 
very Bioshock. This one seems a little like Haunted Mansion. Sorry. Here are my two arms. I can remove the boards with them. Yes. He looks somewhat unwell. So does she, for that matter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, all of... Well, he looks like he's owning it. Like, he's just like, I mean, this is my life now. Or my death, whichever. You know? So he's... Oh! Hold on, I didn't realize you could, like, click on it and find out more and more. Um, Charles, my uncle, it is not easy to look at his portrait altered so. Ah, I see. And then this is Elizabeth Baskerville. Elizabeth was the daughter of Charles. She died 15 years before her father. Father, That poor man never recovered from the loss. Aw. And then Edward Baskerville. Edward, the brother of Hugo and Oliver, spent most of his life on the ocean. He was a great navigator. Well, he still looks fine. He looks good. You know, he looks like he's owning it. Uh, Lily Baskerville. Oh, she doesn't look like she's having a very good time. In this Lovecraftian horror world. Lily was the daughter of Roger. She accompanied him on his trips to study nature and insects. She was an entomologist. Aww. James Baskerville portrait. Yeah. He looks a little... A little scary. A little bit. I, I don't... I don't know that I would want him coming after me at all. James Baskerville was a do doctor of medicine, a veterinarian, and a surgeon. He died in 1777. Sir, I don't know about all that. Louisa Baskerville. Is she an actress? Louisa Baskerville was an artist with a fertile Im imagination and a great talent. The poor woman died very young at 26 years old. Roger Baskerville. Now he also looks scary. He looks like he's going to like go after somebody in Jumanji. Roger Baskerville, 1777 to 1835. He was a famous hunter, without doubt, one of the best in the kingdom. In the kingdom. Okay, why did the music get all, like, intense and scary? I think I see something in that dark corner. If the lighting were better. Excuse me? Can I have a candle, then? Since, okay. This is a zoom zone. Its focal point may have elements missing or need to be solved. Keep a sharp eye out for these zones. So it's missing one element. Oh, I see. Okay. So we need to go find another one of these thingamajiggies. Close. All right. So we can't go in Louise's door. Uh, can't, can't go up here or over here. Uh, we can go to the hall though. What is this? This is missing five elements. Why does the music have to be like this right now? <laughs> this music is a bit much. All right, uh, James's room. Well, this is still missing four elements. All right, I love that. Wow. Uh, Lily Vat, Lily Vat. Lily Baskerville's room is locked. Not surprisingly. All right. Dark place. This place is too dark to see anything. Tension building. Tension building. Yeah. And like, so the main issue is that I'm like, am I going to die if I take my time? Is there a reason why this music is being scary? Hugo Baskerville looks like a scary murder man which you know this is the portrait of hugo baskerville he is the supposed source of the curse indeed he doesn't look very friendly no he does not so 
So, Winter Garden. The lock is destroyed. If you want to go through that door, we'll need to cut through with some kind of saw. Okay. We need to enter the kitchen beyond this door, but it's locked. Okay. Well, at least we've seen everything uh, here. So, to the hall. Wait. What? Oh, we just came from the hall. Oh! I realize. I see. Alright. Neat. Okay. Puzzle time. So... This is an end. No. I would want this piece to stay so like here-ish anyway. Um like I said, this is an end, so I wouldn't want to mess myself up there. Cool. So let's see. This one could go here, but then we couldn't use the rest of the puzzle. Not really. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's start from the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really great work, my friend. You solved it. Yay! Sir Roger Baskerville is certainly one of the most famous hunters in all of Great Britain. Is he? Indeed, Dr. Watson. My grandfather spent a large part of his life traveling the colonies of the Empire to stalk the largest predators in the world. Thank you, Raven Queen. Let us try to learn more about the tragic death of Sir Roger Baskerville. Such a distinguished hunter could not possibly have been killed by a simple dog. Could have. That was naughty. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whiskey. A simple, a single malt Irish whiskey. What a mess. Crystal eye. Cool. This crystal jewel has the shape of an eye. It seems to vibrate very slightly. Excuse me. All right. I wish it would stop poking me like I wish it would just let me do the thing you found a book with a map of the mansion you can use it to move between locations oh neat that's cool so this is where I am this is the main room and this is the hall okay all right that's neat I, I can yeah like I I wish like yes I'm on easy but I don't really that eye was looking at me there was, like, legit an eye in there. Stop it! I hate that it assumes, like, if you're taking a minute... Oh, yeah! The eyes! It, that if you're taking a minute, you don't know what you're doing. The violence that emerges in this hunting scene makes me uneasy. It's keeping an eye on you. Listen. I got the paper. Oh. Um... This tiger is missing his fangs. The trophy piece. How strange. Uh, don't you find the lack of eyes in this wolf head strange, my friends? Well, I can only assume. Uh, how interesting. The crystal eye seems to react with something. It's glowing. <gasps> Neat. 
So we just have to find another eye. Stop telling me. We should open these curtains, let the light in the dark uh, corners of the room. Yeah. Where? Hold on. There's got to be a... There's got to be like a rope or something. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, curtain. Oh, big dog, big dog. That's a big dog. Uh, this highlighted area is a hidden object scene. Here you can search for clues useful to your investigation. Hi, Crimson. How are you? Oh, neat. Uh, animal skull. There. Hi! Hi, Sarah. How are you, my love? Uh, and then Dicey Chain. That's a candle, binoculars, a bow. You've been all over my For You page today? Well, good then. Good then. I hope everybody's having a really good day. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun uh, on TikTok, especially on the nights that I can't sleep. It's kind of helping. But, like, I'm, I've also been doing more video editing, like, for, um, excuse me, for, uh, YouTube. A knife, a lantern. A knife and a lantern. That's a lantern. This music, though, holy butt. Like, suddenly it got scary. Whip. Quiver. I saw the quiver. There it is. Smoking pipe. I did see that. It's right there. Knife. Oh, Angelic goddess. Thank oh, you. So Pin pincers. Oiler. Knife. Oh my good. That's a knife. Okay. Good then. Uh, I love your face too, Angelic goddess. Thank you so much for using your prime for me. For 20 months? How the heck are you? Angelica, do you realize you've been with me for almost two years? That's awesome! It's so neat getting to see, like, the different badges out in the wild. You played your HO with less than 10 wrong clicks. You are precise and metho met methodical. Holmes would love that. You really deserve this. Thanks. Well done. You received a medal. All your honors are located in the additional information section. Additional information. Let's... Neat. Cool. We have been getting our house set up. And yes, been uh, uh, best almost two years ever. I agree. Thank you. Oh my god. Are you even allowed to be that cute? There's something behind here, but I can't see it clearly. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. That must have been then. Why on earth conceal a lever inside of a fireplace? If we want to discover its use, we first have to extinguish the fire. Well, good thing I picked up this pitcher of water like a year ago. Alright, let's pull the lever. Well, cool. I don't think I need uh, or can use anything else in this room currently. With the information that I have, I don't think there's anything else. And this really wants me to go through the fireplace. I can't believe my eyes. Cool, cool. Don't let appearances fool you, Henry. Don't let appearances fool you, Henry. Dr. Watson is right. It is unlikely that these fantastic animals ever existed. It is, rather, a matter of a remarkable job of taxidermy. Ew. Well, no wonder you're haunted, bruh. Can I not? 
A coat of arms piece is hung around its neck. What if we use one of Roger's crossbows to unhook the beast? What? I don't... Oh. I have a crossbow piece, so I'm going to have to build a crossbow? The board says it's a unicorn, but any experienced taxidermist can affix a rhinoceros horn, horn on a horse's skull. Hmm. If you look carefully, you can see a fresco on the wall, but it's covered with ivy and nearly impossible to discern. Okay. Oh. Okay. I like, I like puzzles. Uh, so. I guess we'll try to make a horse. Uh, so I can't. So, I wonder then, let's try lion. All right, how about winged dude? Fine. <laughs> really great work, my friend. You solved it. Yay. Oh, there's a key. Neat, neat. All right, we already read that. It's missing its other horn. Have we found one? We have. There you go. What did that do? Oh. You collected both crystal eyes. Uh... No, 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 not yet. It said, it asked me if I wanted to go back to the other room, but I want to just make sure that I've, like, looked at everything. This particular signboard is too dirty to read at the moment. All right. Yeah, see? Yeah, coat of arms piece. Neat, neat. No! Go back! Dang it. Okay. A dragon's head. It escapes me why someone would padlock the mouth of this iguana. Oh! We found another coat of arms piece. Yay! Yeti or Migo hunted in the heart of the Himalayas in 8 October 1801. All right, well, I think that is, that is that room just now. Hi, Moriarty time. Both eyes are in place. Do you also feel that strange sensation, gentlemen, as if something has, had just changed in the room? What happened? Oh. Oh, we're doing some time travel? I believe the correct question is rather, when are we? Okay. What do you mean, Holtz? Look at these traces of struggle. Look at the shape of the room, its decoration. Everything appears as if Sir Roger was just killed. Smell the air. The odors of gunpowder and blood are still fresh. Oh my god. You don't really think that we went back in time, do you? 
Normally, I would reply no and laugh at your naivety. But for now, I'd rather not say anything. I do not know how or why, but it seems that we have stepped back to a few minutes after the death of Sir Roger. How wonderful. There is always an explanation. Be patient. Uh, sure, time travel, my dear Watson. Time travel. Awesome! I get to touch so many things. Oh, I got a key. I got... Look at this copy of the Times. <laughs> it's almost 90 years old. Either it is perfectly kept, or we are really at the beginning of the century. Oh, bring it back with you. Play the, you know, the races. <laughs> There's something in this vase, but it's very strong and, requir and requires great strength to break it. I mean, I can, I can hit it. It's the weapon that Sir Roger most likely used to defend himself. It must have broken during the fight. Okay. Can I have it now? The mechanism is in place. Now we need an arrow. Excuse me? Where was that quiver of arrows? This is delightful. What is this? Second floor key. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Crossbow. This is... Sorry. I, I'm... I'm having a delightful time. Something went through that window. What? You just never know, like, sometimes what's hiding in some of these. We should find all the pieces of the scheme. It could help us to understand the curse. Oh, extra hydrate? I got you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, blood was painted on this trophy trophy to give it a sinister look. The animal seems to cry tears of blood. But why? There's something in that, in this vase, but it's strong and requires great strength to bring it. Oh, snap. Okay. A huge and disturbing wolf. Sorry, of course, now I'll go to the shiny things. Oh, neat. Okay, so we need to find an axe. Uh, a pocket watch and a fork. So we'll start with that. There's the pocket watch. Uh, a fork. And an axe. Fork. There's the axe. Yeah, chat. Did you hydrate? Because I did. Uh, there's one horn. Uh, a hat and a horse. There's the horse. There's the horn. Where's the hat? Hat, hat, hat. And then knife, metal, and pouch. Well, there's the pouch. The knife was not there. Knife, 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 knife. That's a sword. Knife. There you are. That's, that's a knife. How dare you? A metal. I did just see that, like, just now. Crap. There you are. A shoe. A sword. Slingshot. 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 A trophy. Oh, they... Did you mean literally? Is that not a trophy? Okay. A wolf footprint and an arrow. It's right there. You've got to be, like, on it. A wolf footprint and a trophy. A trophy. It's right there! God dang it. Oh, we found a golden arrow. Well, at least now we know we can load that into the crossbow. 
Here, the crossbow is ready to be used. Okay. Seems we have one shot at this, kids. One. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so now we have uh we have a couple of things that we can that we can look at. Paper, coal, scheme piece, crossbow with arrow. Alright. Um to the hull. So we had that key. Didn't we? Did we not find the key? Second floor key. Literally. Oh. No. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh! Oh. I see now. Yeah, the rhino blinks. It actually unsettled me the first time I saw it. Uh, Because I, I thought I was going mad. I really don't like that it, like, rushes you, though. Like, that That kind of makes me upset. Hunting trophies from Africa, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, so this this one also blinks at you. The rhino uh, blinks at you. It's weird. Oh, I see. I needed this to shoot that down. It's burnt. Fortunately, the coat of arms piece is unharmed. Right. Well, we all the pieces of the coat of arms of Sir Roger Baskerville. Let's go to his portrait. Okay. All parts of the coat of arms have been collected. Do you want to go to the portrait gallery and save Sir Roger Baskerville from the curse? Sure. We can do that. You can now lift the curse from the first member of the Baskerville family. Look closer at the highlighted portrait. Okay. Take the coat of arms and put it on the empty slot in the bottom of the portrait. The painting seems to be regaining its original colors, as if the curse was lifted. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know why the crossbow bolt was flaming at all. Like, I don't understand why that was necessary. Like... I don't understand why we needed the crossbow bolt anyway when we had we literally had a knife. Uh, maybe it was the fact that it was like up too high, but I don't know. It didn't seem very high, but I wasn't there in person, so I don't know. Uh, yeah. Holmes, Watson, look! By inserting the arms, we have triggered a mechanism, a secret cache. There's something inside. Mm-hmm. The diameter of this jewel seems to perfectly match the empty slot on the medallion. Mm. I think Sir Roger has given us an important element for our investigation. Look, there's a note in the back of the jewel. Physical power and brute force. Ah, so, uh, so each thing will probably unlock a new ability. So this maybe will help us, like, punch things so we can go back in time and, like, punch the vases. Amazing. The medallion seems to react to the presence of the jewel. It vibrates. Let us try to it vibrates on the boards that block the door to Louise's room. Oh. So we we learned strength. This jewel gives incredible strength to whomever uses it. It allows it allows one to break the most resistant items. Or to lift heavy loads. So we were we weren't exactly incorrect when I was like, look at these hands. Uh it was like, oh, these boards. Oh man, like we, we would need something to, to break the boards. And we joked and said, Look, my hands. Uh technically, yes, our hands. The vases are our enemy. Yes, they are. Link would be so proud. <laughs> 